all right guys welcome to the review video of one is exchange version two okay so i'm going to you know guide you guys or show you guys how this platform works okay so if you want to swap any asset for another asset this is where you come to do so okay so if you want to swap usd theta okay am i going to score it okay if you want to swap usd theta or maybe you want to swap it for usdc okay all right so what you do is you swap your tst which is at the top for usdc which is at the bottom okay now it shows you an estimated fee it shows you the exchange rate then there's this awesome feature that I love, that I love, okay, which is you have to choose between maximum return and gas fee, okay, maximum return and gas fee. So what does this mean? So if I want the best maximum return for my transaction, then I go for maximum return. But let's say that I'm worried about my gas price being enough. All I have to do is simply choose gas price okay what it does is this whatever regardless of which one you choose what it does is it changes the routing of the transaction remember a desk aggregator is simply is simply getting you the best rate okay across the centralized exchanges okay it gets you the market the one that has the best rate across the whole decentralized exchanges sometimes it also gets you the best value by choosing how to plotting how to route the transaction across the multiple exchanges so that you have the best value okay so that's one of the good things about uh, uh one is exchange in version one of one is exchange it used to show you which exchanges it buys from especially when it's, it's splitting the transaction okay it does show it on mobile view okay that is the version one but in version two it's not showing on the mobile view but you can see it through your the laptop if you use the laptop version okay if you use it on your laptop you'll be able to see the exchanges where it, that's offering you the best deal it's also going to show you the routing of the transaction and the exchange this way is going to route the transaction through to get you either the best maximum return or the lowest gas fee okay so if you want to swap usdc for usd theta you just press the middle button and the, uh, the asset at the bottom goes to the top okay so insufficient balance means you i don't have up to enough okay i don't have the asset so i have a sufficient balance this lock button beside usdc means that you have to unlock or you have to you have to how do i put it this way you either have to unlock okay or you have to approve one is exchange to be able to assess your assets and do transactions whatever you initiate them okay so aside from it okay uh the limit order is not yet available for this version 2 but i think they are working on it so limit order allows you to set at what price at what um exchange rate you wish to sell your assets so that once the market price is at par with your limit order price it will execute your transaction but that feature is not yet here, here okay so they also they have a live customer support so right here you can access the customer support okay you can chat with customer support right here so uh whenever the customer support is online you can ask questions about anything that is confusing you on this platform okay another thing is um what else again they say transactions are on one each are up to 42% cheaper because of chi gas token so which means that in version one you have to buy 
you have to activate the chi gas token to be able to do transaction but it looks like chi gas token is already activated on this exchange so that you don't need to always activate it if you want to guess the cheapest gas price okay then uh, this is the menu so if you want exchange api blog help buy ether okay so this is it uh, this is just a review of the exchange i love this exchange seriously i love this exchange because it gives you the best value for whatever it is that you want to buy whether you want maximum return or whether you want lowest gas fee okay but the most important thing is i think this is in preparation for the one inch token that will be released very soon okay so if you have not used this agent endeavor to use it because if you look at the pattern with which uniswap release its token they move from version one to version two then after some time they now release the governance token so we were expecting the governance token of one each exchange before the end of the year okay but the most important thing is make sure you interact with this platform i seriously love this platform so what is going to happen is if i'm going to perform an exchange on this platform i'm going to show you guys how to do it also i'm also going to show you guys several videos that will help you understand some of these features for example this feature is what shows you maybe the price impact the different liquidity sources where it's site it, it uh, you know the different liquidity sources with which it sources its liquidity so you have about in two different decentralized platforms right here okay there is so many other advanced uh, things here that i don't want to touch there is chat there are so many things here okay but what i'll focus on is on the ones that will help you that is less confusing so in the next video you're probably going to see a video on how to add your asset especially for those who are trading tst but the tst is not listed officially on one each exchange okay though they have told us that if we do a maximum value volume of five thousand us dollars on a daily basis on money swap they will list one each exchange uh, tst officially on one each exchange okay so i'm going to do videos on how to add assets so that you can trade them on this platform also we have videos coming up on how to do transactions on this exchange okay so guys uh thank you guys for watching okay so in this case now you can see the exchanges you can see the ones that has the best price and the value on different exchanges but that's not what i'm here to do today today is just to review the platform show you guys history okay i have one history which is when i swapped tst ETA for tst okay all right guys that's it for this video I want to thank you guys for watching and to see you guys next time take care and bye for now